Hello friends, welcome to Usha's Colorful World. Today I am going to narrate you the story, The Bitter Bit. A certain potter got his son married. In Tamil Nadu, it is the custom. After the marriage, ceremonies are over to take the bride and bridegroom around the city in procession. Usually, the bride and bridegroom go on foot. But the potter wanted to take the young couple round on an elephant. An oil merchant in the same city had an elephant and agreed to loan it to the potter for a day. That night, a grand procession was taken around the city with the bride and bridegroom seated on an elephant. The elephant was followed by many men, women and children, while drummers and musicians played gaily on their instruments. Suddenly, for no apparent reason, the elephant fell down and died. Next morning, the potter went to the oil merchant and said, I am sorry, your elephant died suddenly while walking in procession. I shall pay you the price for it or, if you like, I can give you another elephant in its place. But the oil merchant was quarrelsome by nature. He replied, Why should I accept money or another elephant? I want my own elephant back. And he went to the court and lodged a complaint against the pot. The case came up for hearing and the judge heard the complaint of the oil merchant. Sir, he told the judge, this man borrowed my elephant promising to return it next day. But he has not returned it yet. Please order him to return my elephant, your honor. When the judge asked the potter, Why he had not returned the elephant? He replied, Sir, his elephant died suddenly while it was being taken in procession with the bride and bridegroom seated on it. It was no fault of mine that the elephant died. Still, I offered to compensate him in cash or give him another elephant in its place. But he refused my offer. He keeps insisting that he wants his own elephant back. The judge thought that The offer was reasonable and suggested to the oil merchant that he may accept it. But the oil merchant flatly refused to listen and said, Why should I accept money or another elephant? Our agreement was that he should return the elephant in a day. Make him do it, your honor. The judge postponed further hearing till the next day. After the oil merchant had left, the judge whispered something in the potter's ear. The potter smiled and left the court. When court reopened the next morning, there was no sign of the potter. After waiting impatiently for some time, the oil merchant said to the judge, Your honor, I am sure the potter is hiding in his house and has no intention of coming. If your honor will permit me, I can go and bring him. The judge agreed to this suggestion and sent one of the junior court officials along with the oil merchant. They went to the potter's house and the oil merchant knocked on the door. But there was no response from within. Suspecting that the potter was trying to conceal himself, the oil merchant gave the door a hard push. The door flew open. But oh horrors! There was a deafening sound of parts crashing to the floor. For the potter had kept all his parts stacked against the door. After the noise had died down, The potter himself poked his head round the open door. Oh, my precious parts, he cried. What is this you have done? You have broken all the parts that my ancestor had left me. I shall go and complain to the judge about it. When they came before the judge, the oil merchant offered to pay for the parts or to replace them with new ones. Oh, no, I want the same parts back, the potter insisted. My ancestors were using these very parts. Why should I take money for them or accept other parts in their place? Make him give me back my parts, your honor. The oil merchant was in a fix. How could he bring back the parts that were already broken? Finally, he suggested a compromise. Your honor, he told the judge, I shall not insist on getting my own elephant back. I shall not even ask for compensation. If this man will stop demanding his parts back. At first, the potter pretended to be unwilling. But finally, 
he accepted the offer and the case was settled the net result was that the oil merchant was minus an elephant true the potter had also lost a few parts but these he quickly replaced by making new ones thank you